I'm Carrie. And I'm Kate. And today we are going to be moving through a quick strengthening yoga sequence. So we'll waste no time getting right into it in child's pose, extended child's pose. Drawing your knees wide to the edges of your mat. Drive your hips back towards your heels. And then stretch your arms out long in front of you. Allow your upper body to drop heavy here. And begin to deepen your breath. With each inhale, feeling your belly button draw in and up. And with each exhale, creating length through your back body. Each inhale, opening. Each exhale, lengthening. Take this time in child's pose to create an intention for your practice. One word or one way that you want to feel when you roll up your mat today. And then work to create that feeling throughout your practice. If nothing comes to mind right away, we'd invite you to take our intention of building strength in body and mind and in spirit. So with your intention in mind, take a really full breath in, fill up, exhale, empty out. Rock forward to a tabletop position and keep that deep breath moving as you go through some cat and cows. Inhaling as you draw open and exhaling as you round from your tailbone through the top of your head. Each inhale, stretching your chest forward. Each exhale, rounding. Mm -hmm. Couple more just like that. You can start to sway from side to side. Add in some movement through your shoulders and your hips. And then make your way back to tabletop. Extend your right arm out long in front of you. Send your left leg long behind you. Bend your left knee and then reach around with your right fingertips. See if you can grab hold of your foot, your ankle, your leg. And if you can't, just reach back in that direction. Keep a really strong foundation here, pressing down firmly through your left palm, through the top of your right foot. Gaze at one spot, breathe in, and exhale, release back to your mat. Taking it to the other side, left hand reaching forward, your right leg extending straight back, bending through your knee as you reach for your foot, your leg, your ankle, and really drawing open here. Try to gaze at one spot, take an inhale, and with your exhale, release back to your mat. Inhale, stretch your chest open. Exhale, tuck your toes under and hover over your mat. Shins parallel with the earth for 10, <laughs> 9, 8, hips reaching back, 7, 6, top of your head five, reaching forward, keep breathing here, 4, Three, really press down through your hand, two, and then send it back, downward facing dog. That was good. Take a deep breath in, fill up, exhale, empty out. One more like that, inhaling, opening your mouth, exhaling ah. out. With an inhale, rock forward, high plank position. With an exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward, high plank, shoulder over wrist. And back downward facing dog. One more just like that. Shift forward, high plank, hold this one. Press down ten. firmly through the hands. <laughs> Drive back through your heels. A little bit of softness through your elbows. Good. Gaze at one spot. Inhale. Three. Two. And downward facing dog. Good. Good. Take your gaze forward towards your hands. Walk forward and come into ragdoll at the top edge of your mat. Take any variation of ragdoll that feels good here. Grabbing for opposite biceps, letting hands interlace behind your neck, fingertips dropping towards the mat, just noticing whatever it is your body needs. That's a good one. Keep your deep breath moving. Take an inhale and an exhale out. And then take your hands to clasp at your low back, interlacing fingertips. With an 
inhale, reaching your arms up high. Exhale, head drops heavy. Release your hands down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Fold, exhale out. Rise, inhale, reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, halfway. Step back, high plank. Hold it here. Do you want me to count? <laughs> Keep your gaze set. <clears throat> Little bit of softness for your elbows. Pressing your mat away from you. With an inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Elbows stay, stay tucked in. Inhaling to up dog or cobra. Open up. And with your exhale, drive back down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Look forward. With an exhale, go forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Rise, inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway. And flow. All your breath out as you lower down. Inhaling to stretch open. And exhale, press back, down dog. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop. Inhale, halfway. Fold, and then Utkatasana, sit low. So your feet can be together, or you can take them to hip width distance here, more of a normal basic squat. And we're gonna bring the hands to heart center, and reach your fingertips back behind you, kind of like you're skiing. Drop your weight into your heels. With your inhale, lift your heels up, lift up, reach up. And then exhale, sit back down. Strength and balance. <laughs> inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink back down. Good, low into that squat each time. Inhaling to lift. Exhale to lower. Two more. Inhale up high. Exhale back. Last one. Kick it up high. Stretch. Exhale back and hold. Take your hands to heart center. Pulsing for five, four, three, two, one. Fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Fold forward, exhale. Rise up, breathe in. Grab hold of your left wrist, stretch it up and over to the right. A little bit of softness in the knees, deepening your breath. With an inhale, stretch up, and exhale, take it to the other side. Drop your shoulders, relax your face. Inhale up, exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, breathe in, and flow, breathe out. Inhale, stretch open, exhale back, round dog. With an inhale, lift your right leg, bend your right knee open through your hip, and then hug your knee in towards your chest. Step, Step five, five. <laughs> four, three, two. Step through, crescent lunge. At least you're not stepping on a dog's tail on your back foot. Feet straight Hold ahead at 12 o'clock. <laughs> Gaze at one spot. Hands coming to meet at heart center. And finding your pulse here for five, four, three, two, one. Reach your left hand forward, reach your right hand back. Open arm twist, and then right hand coming to your back thigh. Left fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, windmill, hands down to mat, and flow. Inhale, heart open, exhale back. Deep breath in, deep breath out. With an inhale, lift your left leg, bend your knee, open your hip, and then knee in towards your chest, hold it here. For five, four, three, two, step through. Crescent lunge, feet straight ahead. You want most of your weight to be through your front heel. Four corners of your feet pressing down as you bring your hands to heart center. And then pulse it out for five, four, three, two, one. Right hand reaches forward, left hand back. Left hand dropping to your back thigh, right hand reaching high. Nice stretch through your right side body as you breathe in. And with an exhale flow. In down dog, breathe in, breathe out. And then drop into dolphin from there. Take your forearms to your mat. <clears throat> Keep your hips high. Walk your 
big toes in towards you just a little bit here. Really press the earth away from you through your arms, drawing your shoulder blades down and back. Take an inhale and exhale, child's pose. Oh yeah. Couple of breaths here. Downward facing dog. Right leg to the sky. Knee in towards your nose. Step it through warrior one. Okay. Warrior two. Bring your right hand to your top of your back. <laughs> left shoulder. Left shoulder. And then bring your left hand to your right elbow. Now, you can stay here, or you can see if you can go mukasana in your arms or grab your shirt, do a little bit more of a stretch. Either one, and then lean straight back to the back of your mat. Keep pressing through your front heel, the back edge of your back foot, and keep sending that hip crease a little lower in the front leg. Good, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, triangle. Reach, 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 reach. Look up at your left thumb or down at your right big toe. Now this pose is the grounding sequence of pressing into your feet to lift your kneecaps, your, your thighs right above your kneecaps. Lift them high. Send your right hip back. Left hip open. So the, the bottom half of your body is really strong. Top half is a little lighter. Pyramid. Bring your back foot up, bottom foot. Take a big breath in and fold with the intention of someday getting the crown of your head to your right big toe. That's an intention of someday. <laughs> Because you're feeling strong and flexible. Good. Step your left foot up to meet your right. Reach up. Breathe in. Fold. Breathe out. And then bring your right leg back to a warrior one. Square your hips towards the front of the room as much as they'll do that for you. Really press into both feet equally. A little bit lower. Pull your core up and back. Or your two. Set it up. You can really feel powerful here by pressing your fingertips forward and your left fingertips forward, right fingertips back. Like stretch them out. Okay. Left hand to your right shoulder, <laughs> right hand to your left elbow, or go mukasana. Just play with it. And up and back you go. Keep that bend in your front leg. Breathe into it. Focus on breath here. Strong, deep, powerful breath. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Straighten through your front leg. Triangle. Focus on breath. Stilling your mind with these poses. Pyramid. Back foot comes up about a foot. Really reach out of your hips. Drop your head down your left leg. Crown of your head reaching another inch further than it did last time. Just another half inch. Excellent. Step back to high plank, low plank, high plank, downward facing dog, high plank, low plank, high plank, downward facing dog, high plank, low 
plank, high plank, downward facing dog, high plank, low plank, high plank, downward facing dog. Walk through your, to your hands, <laughs> walk your feet through to your hands, take a seat, lie down. You're going to do three bridges or wheels, or any combination. Press down, hug in, lift up. While you're up here, pulse up for five, four, three, two, one, and then slowly lower down. I like that. Let's do this way. Come on up. Press into your left foot, lift your right leg to the sky. Pulse up for five, four, three, two, one. Change legs for five, four, three, two, one, and come down. How about that third one, Kate? What are we gonna do? Take it up, lift your heels, so just pressing down through the balls of your feet. Keep your heels lifted as you pulse for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale all the breath out as you lower, coming into Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet together, knees dropping wide. Take one hand to your heart and one hand to your stomach. And just take a moment here to notice what you have created through your practice. Your powerful breath rising within you. Your strong body supporting you. Breathing in and breathing out. How happy baby. Grab the outside of your shins or your feet. You can have your legs bent or straight or like one at a time, bent and straight. You can rock side to side. I rocked over so far yesterday when I was practicing. I giggled like a happy baby because I was trying to come back up. <laughs> I think that's why it's called, called that. There we go. Oh. Let's rock up to a seat. Tree your left leg in, extend your right leg, reach for the sky, and folding from your hips with a flat back until you reach whatever you're going to reach, and then tuck your chin into your chest. Pressing down into both hips, pressing down into your right heel. See what you can let go of. Physically, emotionally, right here. Come up. Change legs. Shake it out if you want. There you go. Mm -hmm. And reach your arms to the sky. And fold. All right. Rise up, both feet extended, reach up, and fold. Rise up, table, reverse tabletop. Want to do anything fancy here, Kate? Just get a hip stretch. So bring your right ankle to cross over your left thigh, and then you can allow your hips to mm -hmm. dip down towards the earth. You can take your hips all the way down if that feels best. That's a hip stretch. Yeah. <laughs> left and squats. <laughs> Keep your right foot flexed. Draw open through your chest. Breathe in. Exhale, release, and then just switch sides. Try to come all the way down and 
and get a little closer, a little closer hug in. That works too. So play with it. What works best in your body? Your practice. One second. And then come down. Let's take a nice spinal twist here. Feet hip distance apart, arms teed out, legs drop to the right, legs drop to the left. Your head can stay just straight looking up at the sky or even the ceiling or, or closing your eyes to the right. <laughs> You're lucky if you have a dog kissing you right now. To the left and Shavasana. It was quick, but it was powerful. So always roll your mat out, whether you think you have just 15 minutes or 20 minutes or an entire hour. Make sure you practice. <laughs> Go ahead and roll to your right side. And then using the strength of your arms, your core, press to a seated position, sitting up nice and tall, keeping your eyes closed as you let your hands rest gently on your lap. Take a full breath in here, fill up, and exhale, empty out. Bringing hands to meet to Heart Center. Thank you so much for sharing your energy, your practice, your time with us. Hands meet at forehead center. Namaste. Namaste. Check out our um, page that has playlists now. Playlist option. Kate made different playlists.